Okay, so there's another dungeon here, which I don't want to go into right now. If I could not do it with Rao, I'd be quite happy because I don't want to do it with Rao at all. But we're going to head back and see if I can switch the hero's quest to somebody else. So, I mean, I haven't tried out anything with Nigel yet, so I want to show you guys every single character that there is. And I think the shrine is actually full of items, so it'd be better to take the treasure hunter Nigel for that. Switch people now. Isn't it about time to rest, soldier? Shall I take your place? I was bedridden for such a long time, I was just dying to see some action. Okay, well. See here. I don't even know how to switch people yet. Or maybe I talk to a mid before it. Let me find out. Yeah, you have to talk to. I have to talk to Moot Town for that kind of thing. So let us switch characters here. Switch to Nigel. And then game music will change when you're actually outside. Okay, so now I'm Nigel, and all I have is the tunic. So hopefully I have a weapon for him. <laughs> I don't know if I do. Well, good day, Master Nigel. Is there anything I can help you with? So, let's take out that sword, truth ring, the detect boots, and... Savory fruit and revive fruit. And I think that's it. So let us equip all of these. And looks like he's good to go. Everybody's like gone. That's weird. I guess they're all outside now. People saying different things now, too. Hey, are you taking a walk? <laughs> Me too! Wait, who's guarding your store, buddy? Is there anybody at your store? Oh, his wife is there, okay. You're lucky. I guess it wouldn't really matter here. Blah! <laughs> the dull guy that bald can find a purdy chicky. I've got told once and I've told you a thousand times. I ain't talking. Okay, so let's get down to that last that cavern there. Um, actually, I do want to check on my monster list here. Uh, I'm going to actually release some monsters for now. Uh, we will release Goblin and probably the Armored Goblin. I'm not really a big fan of the Goblin in this game. And we'll register some guys. Jewel Armor. And we'll register. Maybe the watchdog? Yeah, the watchdog. Amulet. Let's 
see jeweler and I don't know what I want to take with me. Who do I want to come with me for this next battle here? Well, I guess I said I would show off the jewel armor. So I'll bring him and... Uh, the magician helped me pretty good last time, so I guess I'll bring him. So I have two slots to capture monsters with still, and we are going to get going. So we're going to head down, I think I can actually just probably skip over everything. Well, kind of. A little bit of an invisible wall there. Oh, sword is down here. That building looks fine on the outside, but inside, it's crawling with monsters. That's just life, I guess. Alright guys, so we're set to enter the next dungeon here. Let's go. Okay, so I actually really like the look of this level. And there's lots of really cool guys in this level too. So I just picked up a Wimp Fruit, which seems pretty useless, but it's good for capturing enemies. Found another trap, and there's a Revive Fruit there. These guys seem to like me for some reason. This attack is very low, or his aggression rather is very low. These guys are usually pretty aggressive. So, of course, they're going to start a fight with me. Oh, I have to fight all of them. Oh, dear. Uh, let's see. Hopefully, they're not too strong. Probably capture those speed guys last. I believe these are probably pretty hard to capture. Yeah, the heavy knight and the fire sword. If you recognize the heavy knight, actually, he was the guy who was the boss in the first first part of the game. So I'm gonna kill the fire sword for now. Damage him. Let's see if I can capture him. Only 60% chance though. Oh well, that looks been pretty good, I guess. So I caught him as well. And that was a fairly short floor actually, which is good. Stop searching this floor, I'm gonna crank my charisma up actually. I was gonna crank up my luck, but I know that these guys hit pretty hard in these levels, so if I bring out my allies, I don't want them to die. <laughs> so bring up the sorcerer and I'll bring up the dual armor. And we'll go to the next floor.
All right, so there is Watchdog in this level two. We'll beat them up, because I already have a Watchdog, so I don't need another one. Magician, you can do your usual magical thing. And Jewel Armor, you have no range, holy crap. Uh, you can just block for now. So I'm gonna have to put the Jewel Armor in the front and move the Magician to the back, which is of course, with a smarter move anyway. And they're all at level 2 now. I'm at level 4. And I got a tasty fruit out of that. Awesome. So things are going pretty well so far because I still have two slots left for things. I'm going to adjust the battle formation. Got the jewel armor, and I think that's it. All right, so wow, the peace fruit, eh? I know that's worth, or should be worth quite a bit of money. Uh, these stone guys are actually really strong, so what I should do is probably change the battle formation and put these guys in the back for now. Because Nigel can take the hit, but I know that they can. Because this guy does hit pretty hard. And I'm going to use the magician to attack him. These guys are also very hard to capture, too. So yeah, you can see even that did like no damage to him and he's still not dead. And even to Nigel he does like a ton of damage. So hopefully I can kill him before he really does any damage to me. So I didn't expect him to actually hit me that hard, but the more you know, I guess. Yeah, if it had been any of the other guys in the front, he definitely would have taken them out. I also know that he has no range, so it's important to move my guys to the back. I'm definitely going to have to pick and choose my battles differently in this one. Oh crap, he broke one of my items. I hope it's not my weapon. So what that means is I need a repair fruit now, and he broke the truth ring, which is okay, that's the least... Um, that's probably the thing that I was worried about the least breaking. And now there's a white priest and a watchdog to deal with. Probably take them out. Defend Jewel Armor, and we'll see how this goes. So the caves are definitely getting a lot harder now. Because the enemies are a lot stronger. And I actually have a threat of my main character dying on someone that isn't the last boss. So that guy's all by himself. We'll just take him out. Actually, just defend you guys. I like no experience for taking that guy out. So as you can tell with Nigel, I've been searching pretty much the whole time, but he's much better with food than Rao is. So that's four is done. I can boost quite a bit of things here, so I'm going to let's see what I want to raise here. I 
I'm going to add one or two on my constitution so my defense is a little higher. And I'm going to boost my luck and charisma. Head to the next floor. So, I mean, I think that things should be okay now. So I can actually put these guys not in the back row. So I'll move that jewel arm up front so we can actually attack. Uh, the guard fruit, that's probably going to be super helpful. I'll probably end up using that on the boss, actually. Got a heal fruit, thankfully. Oh, I can't carry anything else. Got a trap. Okay, and there's uh, another tiger type guy. Actually, when I, was a, when I was younger and I played this game, I used to be like, oh, it's Tiger of the Wind! And I totally won that white tiger, but I don't know actually how good he is. Okay, so that guy's not the strongest. We'll take out him. Magician can use fire on him, and the jewel armor can attack this guy. Oh, one stab and he's dead. Oh, one job, jewel armor, one job. That's okay. I expected this to take two turns. Nigel, you can attack the Snowsaur. Magician, you can block and Jewel Armor, you can attack this guy with Night Sword. Which has a terrible hit percentage. And didn't kill. Absolutely useless. Well, good thing I kept making them block because they seem to get to my back lines pretty easily. Alright, so. Nigel's level up. I don't think I'll need the heal fruit just yet. I'm tempted to use it on Nigel, but. There'll probably be a full restore on this floor or the next, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I haven't captured a nice thief yet, so maybe I'll pick him up. And we'll just kill the other guy. Or I could try picking him up. That's pretty low percentage. I'll stick with the ice thief for now. Magician can defend, the jewel armor can attack him. And we'll see how things go. There's a full restore like I was talking about. So yeah, Rob's, I've already gone through three floors with Nigel and he seems to be doing pretty good for hunger. But wow, that jewel armor, he seems to just drain the hunger meter because he's even hungrier than the magician was. It's only been like two floors for him so far. So I got no bonuses, just head straight to the next level. Okay, so now I'm super hungry. I will use the savory fruit on Nigel. Got the tasty fruit that's sitting right there. There's the exit. Oh, 
Oh, holy crap. <laughs> That's not cool. Well, that guy, like, wants to destroy me here. Um... I have a revive fruit, actually, so you know what, I'll, I'll try and fight him. See if I can actually take him out pretty decently. I remember spells didn't do much with him, so I'll just block, and the triple armor can attack as well. Okay, he doesn't do too bad of damage. Not quite as bad as I expected it to be. You took him out, thankfully. Nigel leveled up. So I'm a little more confident in fighting these guys now. I still want the magician to defend though, because I don't want to waste my magic just fighting this one guy. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful! That was rather gorgeous. Uh, I just found a revive fruit, cool. And you can see that this guy's aggression is pretty high, so he's attacking me. Or trying to attack me, so... I'll fight him by himself. Magician, you can defend. Jewel armor, once again, you can attack. I um, got lucky again with my 1.4 damage. I really want one of these guys though, I like these. These guys are pretty cool looking. The JAC27. <laughs> cool name, I guess. Uh... I'll attack you in the back row, actually. Magician, you can defend again. Jewel armor, you can attack Buddy in the front row. Okay, I think I can pick that up now. Yeah. Big Zip was over there. Yeah, that's another short, another short floor. Let's see if we can go take this guy out here. Also, there's stone. Of course, it is. You know what? I'll use my magic anyway. Maybe do a little bit of damage, or I could just miss completely. That works too, right? Well, luckily my level's increased enough that I have to worry about that hitting me. And this should take him out. Okay. That's it for this floor. Boost the luck some more. Well, one on luck, one on charisma. Actually, no, maybe a strength. That's just pretty damn weak. <laughs> yeah, so next floor here.